How's it going everybody? My name is Carlos House. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm actually super excited to bring you guys uh, an exciting and awesome series just because, well, it's not new, but it's just exciting and awesome and really, really awesome. I mean, it's not new just because we have already played the forest on this channel, but that was like two years ago or something. It was... It was crazy how um, how far back I played this game. I haven't touched this game since then. Uh, I've only played like maybe a one game of Peaceful right before we jumped into the uh, into the playthrough, just because I just felt like I needed a, you know, a little bit of a refresher um, of how to craft stuff, how to actually survive, and and other stuff like that. So um, this is a survival game. Uh, but without further ado, I think I'm just going to jump straight in. So it looks like this is already the new sequence. Like you actually have to pick up this book to move on to the spoiler alert crash that's going to be happening. So there we go. For Timmy, a complete survival guide. Damn, Timmy, hold on. Hold on. Alright, now it's gonna be this little red guy. I've never found... I mean, back when I played this game, there was no way to finish... Whoa, I'm actually farther than I used to be. Um, I don't think... Since I played this game, there was no way to finish the game. Uh, there was only exploration and survival. And we're gonna go beyond that. We're gonna go build we're gonna create we're gonna do some awesome stuff i actually saw panties from that lady up 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 and over there anyway so here we are we are covered in blood so whenever we can we have to find um a source of fresh water to to uh, wash ourselves in it uh, i'm just gonna pick everything up that i can to get get myself a nice setup for you know for the first initial days, um, I'll be li li for the first few days I'll be li living off of soda, um, snacks, which is not the best because I f I heard that there's an actual system which is like like overweight and stuff. You can you can be overweight, you can be uh, more athletic and stuff. But um, here we are. Uh, we're gonna jump out and we are suddenly actually very. Um, we are in danger of, of basically becoming uh, of food for the for the inhabitants of that um, of this little island that we're on right now. Um, so again, I'm just gonna try to try to get my base of items that I need. Um, it's gonna be sticks. It's gonna be stones. It's going to be. Um, as much cloth as I possibly can carry. Um, most important thing is just not to get uh, killed, and then I'll be able to find the place where I want to build for the rest of this playthrough. I mean, so my plan for this playthrough is to actually be creative, right? Like, actually create something, not just play the game, not just, um, not just uh, survive. Okay, so we have maximum of that. Not just survive, but also, you know, b build amazing castles and maybe bases and just, you know, just very, very nice, like, systems maybe of, of walks, uh, you know, maybe, um, maybe, like, uh, maybe even an entire city. I'm, I'm not sure still about what I want to do. It will be really cr only um, limited by our uh, creativity here and uh, because I want to make this series about you guys as well. I want you guys to be also able to um, suggest stuff, you know. So it's not me just building and not really communicating to you with you guys. I really do want you guys' input into this. Like, um, I really hundred percent want to want you guys want to get you guys involved because 
I mean, let's be honest here. You guys are the 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 pinnacle, basically, of of my um, of my existence here, and you guys will be enjoying this series. Not myself. I mean, of course, I enjoy the game, but you guys will enjoy watching it. I mean, hopefully. Um, so this is the actually the place of my old of my old base. Um, I remember those crates over there, and so my base used to be like my old, old base. My back when I first played the game was somewhere around here. I had a house over here. We have turtles. I'm gonna have to kill you. I'm sorry, turtle, but yeah, it's, it's really bad. I know, but I, I just I had to kill the turtle. You get that meat as well. And are we clean or are we not clean yet? I think we're clean now. Yes, we're clean now. Okay, awesome. Uh, we're gonna need that turtle shell. That's why I killed that turtle. Come on. Alright, so we need to find a good place to stay. Um, one where there's a clearing. Um, I'm actually thinking about the little pe uh, peninsula. Was it? Is it called peninsula? Uh, I think. I think. I think that's what it's called. Um, where there's a tree at the end, and I like it because there's a lot of like clear. You know, um, there we go. That's the, that, that's it right there. Um, there's a lot of uh, clear space where I can just freely build, but also it is very hard to fortify. Um, there are no trees right there. There's only this one big ass tree right there, and you can see there. Like, um, if if we want to build there, our only materials are going to be you know farther down this way, which, which are the trees, which, which I can see right in front. So that's the only downside um, the other you know like this is this is actually pretty easy because I heard there's also a different biome now you can actually be you can actually build in um, what's the name in like a snowy biome now which is pretty awesome um, <laughs> there was nothing like when I first started this game it was, it was in 0 0.02 now it's 0. No, 0 0.0 0 0.50 actually right now so there's been so many iterations over those two years it's so good to see that the that the developers are still working on this game because it's worth it the game is one of the best um, I think in its kind uh, and its kind is basically survival horror that's what this game is uh, so this is basically we can save here if we're not going to be safe by the, the by the night but hope hopefully we will be uh, we basically just have to um, just hurry up we just have to hurry the fuck up and start fortifying I think the first thing we want to do is like a little shelter where we can sleep sleep a little bit um, but mostly um, it will be building the wall Building a wall, basically, basically splitting away um, this part, you know, the entire forest from from this part. But I just need to. I will be kind of trying to maybe plan it first. So I'm gonna actually plan it here. Uh, so we we have our um, our survival guide here, uh, but this also is kind of like um, also a building material for us. So we don't want a custom wall. What we want is defensive wall. There it is. So what I'm gonna do is just basically drag it all the way across. <clears throat> Hopefully I can find a good spot somewhere on this end. Yeah, that should that should do it. I think. So there we go, we need 125 logs to complete this quest. Um, which I don't think is bad. I don't think it's that bad. Um, but first of all, holy shit, it's the biggest spider dog. Uh, we also have our, our inventory. You can see we got some sticks, we got the shell that we got, uh, some batteries if we need them. Um, cash, I don't know why do we have that, but passenger manifest. Uh, some of the snacks that I've gotten. Actually, I don't have a lot of snacks. I'm gonna have to um, get a fire going very, very soon. So we're gonna get the fire going uh, first. Um, we're gonna get a permanent fire, just for now, basically. Let's put it down there. Let's assemble it. What else do we need? I need two more stones. One is there. One is there. All right, awesome. 
There we go. So now I can basically light it up. It's gonna burn. I can actually cook my my food in that as well, which is pretty awesome. Right. So we find our place to to build. Hopefully, I'm not gonna get uh, raped by by the inhabitants of the, by the cannibals. I can already I can already see a couple. Um, they're running across. I don't, I'm not sure if, if you guys can see them, but I saw them run across there. That's that's a really bad sign. Um, getting cannibals in the first day is horrible. Um, oh, I don't think no, those those aren't good. I think the blue ones are good though. Are these blues? Can't even see. No, they're not blue. I need to be just careful because of, because of those two two guys I saw running across, but I think they, they left, okay. It is to get sticks. Uh, sticks will allow me to make something I can pull my logs across. I like that. I mean, I'm basically talking here, assuming that you guys have no experience of playing the forest. Um, if you do, you know, it's, it's never gonna hurt for me to just ex just double, double check if you guys know something. Um, I mean, I don't know most of the stuff myself, so if you guys have anything that I'm missing, basically, um, then... Oh shit, dog. These two guys did not left. These two guys did not leave. Oh god. Alright, here we go. It's about time. Come on, boys. I'm here. I'm here waiting for you. Dude, he's looking at me like, look, dude, who the fuck is that? You guys are just delaying me from building my stuff. Okay, it looks like, it looks like the, the, one, the first one wants to run away. The second one is not so keen on running away. The second one just wants to scout this shit. Okay, I'm gonna kill him. Oh my god, there are four. There are four effing cannibals here. That is just terrible. That's a terrible start, boys. I don't want to die for doing my, my first night, you know what I mean? Alright, I'm gonna kill him. Come on, man! Is that all you got? What about your friends? Okay, I think your friends left you, bro. Alright, I'm gonna carry him and I'm gonna basically throw him away somewhere so they're, they're not getting attracted to this to my safe to my safe space because I think um, the cannibals actually uh, well cannibals they eat people right so I'm gonna throw them away far away actually not that far away but hopefully they won't be able to see me anyway um, during the night looks like we got rid of that trouble and it's good that I heard one it's good that I heard him um, we're gonna go to storage and we're gonna go for log sled. Hopefully that's, that's how it's pronounced. I'm gonna put it down. Now let's start building it. We need 11 more sticks. I'm gonna cut down these, um, these kind of bushes up in here. Get the sticks that I didn't pick up last time. I, I think they were somewhere here. Okay, can't see them anymore. That's fine. Okay, one, one there. And honestly, we want to fortify ourselves as fast as possible. Um, so we will... Honestly, this is not the best course of action. The best course of action would be to probably just get the, uh, the modern axe, which again, I've never had. I just heard from people that it's actually needed. Uh, to to have you know faster basically clearing uh, cl faster clearing time of you know of bushes and trees and stuff. So yes, in this game you actually have different um, types of axes, weapons. You also have you can have a bow. You can craft a bow, which we might do, uh, but we have to go to the yacht for that just to bring home enough kind of uh, materials. Um, so I can get my first kind of like a kind of not base, but my first like place where I can sleep up there, up there on the um, on the hill. Can I get get that going? There we go. There's our sled. So we're gonna start cutting down stuff. 
So, there we go. Um, I just love how this game works, like, you know, you're actually, it's almost like real life, right? Like, like you know, you have, it's very realistic in that sense, you have to cut down trees, um, you have to actually have to get sticks, you can craft then stuff out of your, um, out of, your, out of the, actually, materials that you have, you have gathered. Um, no, which one? Is it C? Yeah, let's see. Right, let me bring it a little bit closer to where I'm actually gathering the the thing. Alright, awesome. Another thing we're gonna have to get is a lot of sticks. Sticks are gonna be vital for our survival. Uh, basically, they're they're very very important for our for our first kind of like a sleeping place, and then also for like a um, um, for the drying rack where we, you know, we can hunt animals and then we can uh, dry, uh, dry their meat on this kind of drying rack kind of extending oh, there's a feather here extending their, li their like lifetime so sticks are going to be the name of the game for us and the early game of course log oh, holy shit. <laughs> I'm just so scared of getting attacked by these guys again Honestly, like this is a bad, like it's, it's a bad sign for me that I've I've got attacked by you know by by the guys so early. Um, I had to get sticks as much sticks as I possibly can carry. Um, later on, we will be able to craft uh, bags, which are going to allow us to just carry a, a little bit more stuff, um, and that's going to be crafted mostly from animals, uh, from deer, from um, from. What are the names from rabbits, um, from turtles, from uh, lizards? Yeah, just just all the stuff like that. Um, so actually, when I back when I played this game, they only started to introduce deer. Oh, there's mushrooms here. Um, but now they're actually like, you know, like, like all the animals are now actually fully implemented, which is pretty cool. Um, back when I played the game, um, only I think lizards were implemented. Uh, fully, and then they actually, actually, that's when I started playing the game, and when I actually played the game, um, kind of like full on, that's when they started to implement like rabbits and uh, and just different other uh, kind of like animals. Uh, so how many logs do we have? We got five logs. Okay, I, th I think I'm gonna uh, cut down one more tree, and then we can start making our way up to the top to basically uh, get our first. Sleeping place going, yeah. Man. Last time when I when I played this game, I, I I tried to make it kind of a stream like, so it was more real to you guys, you know. So it wasn't like it didn't feel scripted or anything like that. And that's not not necessarily bad, right? Like um, I feel like the the streaming kind of um, format of this game was actually kind of bad. So I'm gonna try to cut out the boring stuff, like maybe me gathering some of the wood. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys some of it, right? God damn it. Alright. I'm probably gonna carry this log there myself now. And I'm gonna have to run back for the actual sled. That's horse crap. That's horse dung, boy! We actually don't have a lot. Like, we didn't get a lot of... Um, we weren't that lucky on our drop uh, of snacks. So we have to get our, basically, our drying rack as early as possible. Um, okay, so I'm gonna drop it here. Let me actually B to set up our little sleeping place first. There you go, hunting shelter. That's that's exactly what I was talking about. Let's just maybe set it, uh, just turn it around, Let's just set it like right there. And we can actually use this first one to um, to kind of, kind of get the foundation, get the find the foundation going. Uh, we're gonna eat something, drink something, and uh, we're gonna be fine for a little bit now. Our, you can see our energy refilling, our uh, not health, but um, hydration. Health is a little bit more complicated. All right. All right, let's go. That must be one. Hell of a heavy sled right here, but he's just he's just pushing like it's nothing like it's a nothing boys 
All right. Okay, we have to be uh, quick about this because uh, the night time is coming. And also we have to kind of um, rely on the guys not coming in. Seven sticks, six stones. I need one more stone. There we are. Yeah, boys. All right, that was easy. And then with this, with these guys, I can start building the actual wall. Um, I think that's going to be the name of the game for the next episode or so. But this one, I just kind of want to get set up first. You know, want to get the the. I don't think I can get the uh, the collector going this this time. I need to go to sleep as fast as I can. All right, let's go to sleep. Let's go s safe up first. Let's go slot. Let's let's save it on on our slot peaceful. I'm not gonna need that anymore. And then we want a Z. Awesome. Looks like we are still Gucci. And I think we're just gonna straight away take our sled and just fucking go ham. We are thirsty, we need to drink some clear water. Um, actually, before I do that, I have some meat which I can cook up. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna light it up. <laughs> it's actually lucky that we have. Um... Let's place it down, let's wait for a couple of seconds. While this is cooking, we can, we can drink some soda. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place down a, a water collector. There we go. Just gonna put it right here for now. Um, yay! Actually, I need one more stick. God damn it, boys. How's that? How's that doing? How's that doing? There we go. Yay! Oh, there's actually there's an actual animation for eating now. That's pretty cool. It, 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 you, this game didn't have any animations before, any kind of like additional animations than it needed. Um, so again, this this day, I'm hoping to not encounter too many cannibals and just to get our wall not really up and running. I, I don't think we'll be able to get 120 logs in one day, but we can definitely try. We can definitely try. Uh, by the way, the uh, berries that are, uh, I think, growing on, on these um, on these uh, little trees, um, they're good, but they're not good for eating. They're only good for um, for gathering, and then you can put them on your arrows to make poison arrows, I believe. Uh, so again, that's another new thing that I didn't that I didn't have back when I played this game. Um, there weren't and there weren't any arrows that like the, the bow was just implemented back when I when when I pretty much stopped playing the game. I think only our couple last episodes had a bow in it, um, and I remember the first arrow we shot got stuck right in front of the bow, which is pretty funny. Uh, I remember that. <laughs> so if you guys didn't know, the trees should regrow after a certain uh, certain period of time, uh, same as the bushes. Uh, if I do not get rid of the stumps. Um, um, they should eventually regrow, which is, which is obviously good because I'm gonna need a lot, a lot, a lot of wood um, for the projects that I'm actually going for. So tell me, guys, tell me what you want to, uh, what you want to see. Do you want to see like a full-blown, you know, um, city? Uh, would you like to see a castle? Would you like to see just you know, maybe some story buildings? Because I know that you can actually build uh, multiple story buildings now. That was not uh, implemented when I when I played the game. Um, maybe like a maybe, maybe like a high-rise city where you know where, where there's a lot, um, maybe you know, a lot of buildings like high buildings and there are uh, maybe bridges in between them or stuff like that. Just you, know, you, ha you guys have to tell me. I think I heard something, and I'm really scared, but I don't see anything as well. Alright, awesome. Alright, we have max sticks. I think we need one more tree. Dude, I'm I'm some freaked out. Are those birds making those noises or what the hell? Alright. Let's get the rust tree. The rust tree. And honestly, if we're gonna be doing like projects, like big projects. Like you know, maybe maybe like a very high building and stuff like that. I might actually stream that on Twitch, um, just because you know it's not gonna be good. I, I think I just lost one uh, one lock. 
uh, not gonna be good for YouTube, you know, of course, you know, it's just basically me gathering wood and then placing it um, in, in a certain in a certain area, so There we go, okay, I'm gonna grab these two that were that were left here There and There Get them up by hand because I can't lose like I can't afford to lose any logs. I'm not sure if they disappear, I, no, I, do, I do know for a fact they do not disappear, but I think they lose collision with the stuff around them, which means they can roll down different kind of um, you know, different slopes and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I definitely don't want that to happen. Um, we do <laughs> we get another encounter from um, one of our homies he's just chilling okay he, I think it whoa you're floating in the air bro I just want to get my logs and get the fuck out can you stop shouting at me is he calling his friends or or did he come to get revenge for his homie that I killed like a couple days back actually one day back is he stuck there? Oh no, he's not stuck, okay. Yeah, get out, man. I'm, I'm just gonna grab this and get the fuck out, bro. Don't you even dare come close to me. Ugh. I can actually run back, which is pretty funny. I can sprint back, which is pretty funny. Uh, he's coming, he's coming. Uh, I think he's turning around. Okay, yeah, I think he's turning around. Right, awesome. Let's me finish the water collector. So there you go, it's gonna start collecting water. And what do we need for the water skin? I think it's mostly deer skin. So let's, let's get that poppy. I've never done anything major in this game, by the way. Like, n I've never done like you know, like a major house. The only thing I've done was you know the actual house that you can get out of this out of this guy, which is you know, which is like the, I think the biggest thing I've done, which is the, the log cabin, and that was that. So I've never actually put m more time, more effort into this game than I wanted. I really want. I I always wanted to make this game kind of uh, maybe not my main game, but like a game that I actually play. Uh, by the way, guys, we are getting low on food, so we're gonna have to get some. <sighs> I'm not sure. Do we need do we need um, like an arrow, a bow, a bow and arrow to actually to do to do stuff here? I might actually go and visit the yak. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's go and visit the yak. We're gonna need the rope, and there might be some snacks there waiting for me, which which are gonna give me a couple more days, you know, to get set up and to really um, become stable on our ground here. So. And which is exactly what I need. So there you go. There's the act. Um, I uh, this the spawn location of this I believe used to be random, but don't quote me on that. I think uh, yeah, it could spawn in a couple of different locations actually. I believe. Please don't attack me from behind. They have a very weird uh, tendency to do so. And uh, we have another turtle, which who can actually kill. He's gonna give us a little bit of meat. Nice, some some medicine. Uh, we're gonna pick up the alcohol. You can, you can actually get, you can actually do make molotov out of the alcohol. There we go. Sorry, turtle. Mm -hmm. Sorry, turtle. But we're gonna have we're gonna need your meat and we're gonna need your uh, one more col. I think we're gonna make make one more collector after this. Um, we won't be able to do anything with the water that we collect for now, but later on we can actually fill in our water skin. Which again, we can make out of deer skin, I think. And to catch deer, there's only one way, and that is to make a bow or make a spear. Make, making a spear is much less like intensive on your um, on your resources. But um, um, it's not gonna be. Oh, look at that! That's beautiful. That's a beautiful rainbow. But it's you know it's not gonna be as effective as a bow, I think. I think. 
I'm gonna show you guys how to make a spear very soon. I think as soon as we actually hit the um, hit the yacht here. Hopefully there are gonna be no sharks up in here. By the way, there are sharks in the game. I think still. Not seen them yet. Yacht Summer Edition or something. Alright, so there's rope here. There's rope there. So rope is gonna be really, really important. Uh, for building something like a bow and stuff like that. Um, there's a missing person. Zachary, 12 years old. Um, there's a, um, a cassette player and the cassette itself. There are some snacks. That's going to be really good for us. Uh, I think that's a backpack that I just, I just got, I think. A um, couple of gas tanks. A head. It's nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold on a second there. Um, a photo of a, of a Lexi. <laughs> that is a Lexi, by the way. Um, one of the mo mutants that can actually spawn and attack you. Um, you know, you, you don't you don't only have to be wary of the actual inhabitants of the of the thing, but you can, you also there are also mutants which can actually spawn in the thing. You can actually sleep and save the game here, but we already have a place for that made somewhere else. And that's gonna be it for the act. So mainly the snacks, and along some other stuff. So we're gonna go straight back to our um, to our base where we are set up. And I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. Again, we're we're not lucky with the cannibals so far. We are we already, we already had a couple of attacks. Uh, we only had to fight during the one, so I guess that's good that, he, that most of them actually left. At what, at what point we had actually fought, had four cannibals in front of us. Yeah, they're eating the guy. They're eating the guy who I killed, you see? Fuck, maybe, maybe it was a mistake. Maybe we should have just like threw, threw them in the water or something. God damn it. They might be coming to it now. Yeah, there are two right there. You see him? Ah, because I see him. I see him well. <laughs> right, so let's see. Maybe we have some water. Yeah, I think we have some water, boys. I can drink it. Let's drink it. Yeah, I think I, I think I can drink it once more. Right, anyway, um, so what we can do here is just I think we're gonna save up. Let's save up, and then I'm gonna we're gonna say our goodbyes. So again, guys, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm actually super, super pumped, super excited to get this um, going to you guys. Um, I, I've been waiting for a long time to get this started. And honestly, there's a lot in front of us. But I want you guys, I want you guys' input. I want you in this video telling me what you want to see, what you want me to do. Do you want me to explore? Do you want me to build up first? It's all up to you. I leave it in your hands. I'm going to wait for the comments on this video and then decide what I do in the next episode. Probably the next episode is still going to be like finishing the wall and stuff like that. So I might call it to wood um, for that off the camera. Tell me if you want me to do that. Do you, do you want me to collect wood, kind of gather wood off the camera and then get everything done? Like maybe on the video? That's also up to you. All right, awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. I'll see you next time.